everyone, in today's video I'm going to take you through everything that's inside my travel makeup bag. I am going to Colorado very soon on the 31st of this month. I'm pretty sure I will already be in Colorado by the time this video goes up, but I was packing and I was already filling up my makeup bag and I thought I'd just sit down and film because I love watching these videos. And yeah, if you guys are interested, just keep watching. First things first, this is the bag that I'm going to be taking. The front actually comes with all of these little bottles and it comes with a little shower like loofah sponge as well, which I love because I don't like taking a shower with just my hands. I like to use some kind of cloth or sponge to really like exfoliate the day off um so the front looks like this i haven't even opened it because i haven't filled this up i'll do this when i'm closer to leaving and then the inside looks like this and as you can see i have it stuffed already so i'm just gonna go through everything in no particular order i'm just gonna start taking stuff out i'm not going to be going over like the skincare that i'm taking or toiletries or none of that because this video would be a million years long i'm just going to show you guys the makeup that I am taking, and that is all. I know this is probably more than the average person would ever need to pack, but I think it's better to be safe than sorry. So the first thing is my eye cream. I cannot live without an eye cream, and currently the eye cream that I'm using is by Youth to the People, and it is the Age Prevention Superfood Eye Cream. I think this is the second bottle that I have from this. Prior to this, the only other eye cream that I've ever used is the Bobbi Brown hydration or something like that eye cream which is really good but i feel like this one is a lot more nourishing next i have my ember uh this stuff is probably the most hydrating moisturizer that i have ever put on my skin and since i'm going to colorado and it's going to be really really cold i know that the first thing my skin's going to do is freak out and get extremely extremely dry so i made sure to stock up i had run out of my previous bottle and i got a new one right, next i just recently restocked on my tinted moisturizer this is by laura mercier and it is their just regular spf 20 lightweight flawless coverage moisturizer and i recently got a new shade i'm in the shade natural now before i was using the shade nude and i think that that shade is a little bit better for me when i'm slightly slightly more tan it's by fresh and it's their sugar lip treatment with spf 15 and it's just their original one this is seriously my favorite thing ever if you guys suffer from very dry lips or if you're gonna go somewhere that's really cold and your lips are bound to get chapped i really really recommend this stuff this is probably gonna go with me on the plane i always take a book bag with me on the plane and then i take a smaller bag something like this this is just the little bags that come with my glossy orders and i just put like any lipstick or chapstick or skincare products that i want to take with me on the plane next this is probably something that i'm also going to put in my book bag with me to take on the plane this is the glossier generation g lipstick in leo it's what i'm wearing right now and i'm also going to take the shade cake next i have my anastasia brow definer i'm in the shade medium brown this it's in the packaging because i just got a brand new one next i recently got this foundation because when i first started wearing makeup this is actually i'm pretty sure this is the first foundation that i ever bought the first high-end foundation that i ever purchased it was the first laura mercier silk cream foundation and they repackaged it and i think they reformulated it or something and they divided it into an oil-free one and a moisturizing one but i think their moisturizing one is more similar to the original silk cream foundation that i love so i did recently get this but i am going to take it with me because i really love this stuff and i'm in the shade ivory next i have my nyx dewy finish setting spray and my absolute favorite from them is their matte finish setting spray but since we are going to a cooler climate and i know that my skin is going to be very very dry i need something that is dewy i need all the moisture that i can get next i have my glossier wowder this is what i use to set my under eyes and my entire face whenever i do set my face or if i don't feel like wearing foundation i just apply concealer and then i go in with a buffing brush and i just buff this around my face and it evens out my skin tone just a little bit and i don't know i just really love this stuff so this is the only powder that i'm going to be taking next i have my bobby brown corrector in light bisque if you guys have never tried an under eye corrector and you have very dark 
under eye circles i definitely definitely recommend that you guys try one especially this one this is the only one that i've ever tried and i have not had a need to purchase anything else because this one just does the job for me I really love this stuff. Next, I have the Gerard Cosmetics Star Powder in Grace, and it looks like this. This is the only highlight that I'm going to be taking. It's what I've been wearing for the entire month of January, and every time that I pull this out of my collection again, I always ask myself why the hell I stopped using it because it is just so, so, so good. For blush, I'm just taking my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in Mood Exposure. I'm taking this one over my NARS blush because this one is less prone to breaking. I feel like it's... I feel like it's a little bit more durable, like the packaging is more durable. For bronzers, I'm taking my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in Medium Deep. This is their matte bronzer. It's the only bronzer that I've been wearing lately. I love it to warm up my face. And then to go in and give myself a little bit more of a glow, I go in with my Tarte Park Avenue Princess. I'm taking my eyelash curler, and this one is just by MAC, I believe. Yeah, it's a MAC eyelash curler. Does the job. For mascaras, I'm taking both of my Clinique mascaras. I'm taking the Lash Power Mascara and the lash power flutter to full mascara this one is really good for extending and separating your lashes while this one is really good for volumizing uh, for my contour blush you guys already know my kevin aquan sculpting powder and i'm in the shade medium for concealers i'm taking my tarte shape tape concealers and i have two shades i have the shade fair and light medium i have to mix the two because when i got these they didn't have the large shade selection that they have now so i have to mix them i'm also taking this moisturizer by glossier this is their priming moisturizer and i'm either going to put this one or the other moisturizer that i mentioned in my book bag to take with me on the plane for eyeshadows i'm just taking my sonia cash shook eye on neutral matte eye couture palettes i absolutely love this palette the only reason that i'm taking another palette the urban decay naked basics palette is because i use the last two shades in this palette to make my faux wing because i just like the pigmentation of these two shades mixed together for eyebrow gel i'm just taking my glossier boy brow and then i have another little pouch that kind of came with my glossier order i love out of the packaging and glossy hay because I feel like I can just use it for other things. And in here I just have my eyeliner which is the Urban Decay 24 7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Underground. This is my favorite eyeliner at the moment. It's just like a bronzy brown color. And just in case I feel like doing a liquid liner wing, I'm taking my NYX colored felt tip liner in chocolate brown. This is one of my favorites if not my favorite liquid liner. The only thing that I don't like about this is that it does dry out very quickly this is a brand new one so i'm not gonna have a problem with it drying out on vacation but it really doesn't last that long once you start using it but it doesn't transfer on me and it just stays on all day next in this little pouch i have my real techniques this is their accent brush which is my favorite thing to use for my inner corner highlight and the reason that i don't have this in my brush wrap that i'm going to take is because this is just very small and I don't want it to get lost or anything. And then, of course, I have my little bougie sharpener by Chanel. It's just a regular pencil sharpener for my eyeliner. I really love the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On eye pencils, but they're so soft that you do have to sharpen them pretty frequently so i do have to take my pencil sharpener and that is everything for my travel makeup bag thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and i will see you in my next video